Hello guys, <laughs> what's up? And welcome back to my channel. Um, if you are new, don't forget to subscribe below and hit the notification bell so that way you can get notified whenever I post new videos. Um, it is a weekend, it is Saturday. I have had a long week, so I'm very thankful that it is the weekend. So I feel like I haven't really made uh, a proper introduction for you guys, so yes. I'm gonna introduce my kids and my husband to you guys real quick. Here's the fam, this is Elijah. He's two years old today, it's his birthday. And daddy is right there, he's making his birthday cake. And this is our little Rosie, she's turning five pretty soon. <laughs> okay. So this is my family here, guys. So if you ever hear some background noise or some rowdiness, that's my kids in the background having a good time. So it's about 1.30 and I've been up for several hours, got in a quick workout today, so. Um, it's a great day outside, it's a beautiful day, and we're celebrating my son's second birthday, of course, but I wanted to go to the grocery store like I normally do, and we're out of a lot of things, so I wanted to do um, a nice big grocery haul for you guys, and I'm actually also making yogurt later on today, so I'll definitely film that for you guys because I have talked about that in a previous uh, video of mine, so if you guys are interested, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make your own homemade yogurt. So um, yeah, so who doesn't enjoy a nice grocery haul, learning about new foods and yummy finds at the store? I've got my bags, I've got my masks, y'all know the deal. In all honesty, these masks by themselves really are not that big of a deal. I'm a rehab therapist, so we wear gowns, we wear gloves, we wear the mask, and with the weather getting warmer, it's uh, a little bit uncomfortable. So these by themselves really are not that big of a deal and I'm quite used to it by now. I had to go to two different grocery stores. I went to Aldi per usual, and then I also went to Giant just to get the rest of the stuff because they were out of a few things at Aldi's. I got Honey Nut Cheerios for the kids. For snacks for myself, I got sweet potato chips and sea salt popcorn. I was actually a little bit indecisive thinking about getting the black bean tortilla chips, but these were definitely a healthier option, so I got these instead. My husband prefers popcorn, so I got him that. The kids are gonna be snacking on animal crackers and they love these. So I got two boxes for them. The kids also are gonna be having sandwiches for lunch during the week. So I got them 12 grain uh, bread. For breakfast, my husband prefers everything bagel. So he's gonna have that. And the kids right now are really into cinnamon raisin bagel. So I got them that as well. For lunches, my husband's gonna be having some kind of um, tortilla wrap I think is actually putting like pork butt or something in it so I got him that my daughter prefers pork skin mozzarella string cheese and then somewhere in here I don't think I have it out yet but my my son prefers baby belt cheese so I got him that and then over here is like a big bulk of our <laughs> produce so um, some things were on sale some things weren't but I went ahead and just got what we usually prefer we already have a thing of banana so I just need to get one of that I got some English cucumbers. We got three containers of strawberries. Uh, let's see, three containers of blueberries as well. Two of the raspberries. And then I got myself, because I've been really into green smoothies. So I got two packs of baby spinach. And also, these are not just for um, eating by themselves or dipping, but my husband actually is gonna use these bell peppers in some kind of like, um, Thai chicken curry for our dinner. My kids really are into Granny Smith apples right now, so we have that. And I got some cage-free organic eggs, two of those, part skim milk for my son and my daughter for now. And then I don't know what my husband is using this for, but he asked for a queso fresco, so we got that. And then I will be making the yogurt, like I said, later on today. So 
I haven't tried these before, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna taste good. Um, this is dark chocolate and sea salt. Um, it's gluten-free oats, it says. And the macros on here were pretty good, so I plan on pairing this with the homemade yogurt that I'm gonna be making today. So here's the rest of the stuff from Aldi's. At least once a week, we try and do a simple meal, like a breakfast for dinner, so I went ahead and got biscuits for that. And I am really digging this. I think the brand is like Sunday Shop or something, but it's like a no corn, corn fructose, corn syrup ice cream. So the whole container essentially is like 240 calories and 20 grams of protein. So I got the vanilla bean, I got two of those. The kids like them, I like them, so it's like a win-win basically. Right now we're really into uh, sweet peas for vegetables. So I got three frozen ones of those. We're gonna be doing another simple dinner for the week. So I went ahead and got an oriental stir fry. All we really have to do is just mix this with either some brown rice or some white rice, whichever we want. Um, here are the baby bell cheese that I was talking about for my son. I went ahead and got some feta cheese. I am doing a um, video on three different salads. So I think one of them actually needs feta cheese. So I got that. I got chicken nuggets for the kids. Aldi does not have this. Um, very often so when they do I like to pick up either um, one or two um, boxes of them so went ahead and got this for the kids as well just to pair that with that at some point they're probably not going to be having this for dinner this week but I went ahead and just um, got them just because they were on sale and they were there um, got some sweet potatoes these are going to be going into one of the salads I think no two of the salads that I'm actually making um, later on in the week and the quinoa as well for myself, I got crunchy peanut butter, and I actually made the mistake of getting the Kind Energy Bars like three weeks ago, which I actually thought were better for you um, until I actually looked at the macros for the Kind Bar versus the Elevation um, Bar. So this one is 240 calories, only 60 are from fat, so you have 6 grams from fat, uh, 38 grams for carbs, and 11 grams of protein. I think the kind bar that I was looking at, no matter the flavor, all of them actually were like 18 grams of fat. So this is actually a whole lot better for you. And it's actually less expensive. I went ahead and got some red onions because we're out of that. Same thing with the olive oil. And then y'all know, this is my favorite, my husband's too. So I got three of these ginger egg kombucha. And I think we have two downstairs. So it never hurts to have more. And I plan on having some liquid egg whites for the most part for breakfast during the week for myself. So this is my trip to Giant. This is all the stuff that I got. Um, I forgot to mention I spent $139 at Aldi and I spent $88 at Giant. So this is the pork butt or pork roast, whatever it is. Um, that I got from my husband, so he's going to be making this for his lunches. And I am so glad that I actually went to Giant because I could not remember the name of the dressing that I was looking to try, but I am definitely looking at macros a whole lot more now um, than I was before. And I remember I saw this in someone's Instagram. Um, I remember the first part of it, Bolt, but um, I saw it. I knew it had yogurt in it, so um, the macros on here are pretty good. This is the Classic Ranch, and for... A serving which is two tablespoons it's only 45 calories so three grams come from fat three carbs and one gram of protein so I'm actually really excited to try this I got that one and then I also got a cilantro avocado one and this one has relatively the same amount of macros it's got three and a half grams of fat one gram of carb and one gram of protein and this is also two tablespoons for a serving and the calorie amount is 40 calories. So I got those two dressings. I got two things of coconut milk and red curry paste. My husband is gonna be using this along with the chicken thighs. He's doubling the recipe to make a Thai um, red chicken curry. We've had it before many, many times and this recipe, guys, is like really, really good. Um, I got some Smart Balance butter. We're out of that. I got some part skin mozzarella cheese. This is for the pizza that we normally make for ourselves on Fridays. And also got some almonds. I'm gonna chop this up. This is gonna be going into one of the salads as well. 
I got two things of light brown sugar. My husband is using this for something he's baking. I'm not sure what. <laughs> I got three ripe avocados. I kind of staggered the ripeness, but this is gonna be going into a salad again that I'm making, as well as the edamame, which took me literally like 30 minutes at Giant to find, I swear. But um, I asked like two store attendants and two of them steered me wrong, the third one, told me the right place to go. So I got two things of those. They were actually in the frozen section, a different frozen section than where the normal frozen vegetables actually are. So I got that and then I also got kale, which I never actually buy, but this is also for a new salad that I wanna try as well. So this is everything for the week um, for myself and the kids and my husband. So um, not bad for a family of four. So like I said, $137 at Aldi and then 88 at Giant. We normally don't really spend that much at the grocery store for a week. We normally like hit no more than like 160, 170 for a family of four. Um, I think the price probably is a little bit higher just because we like trying different things, um, trying different meals and whatnot. So yep, this is it. So I didn't get a chance to really show you guys how to make the yogurt yesterday. Between going to the grocery store, I had to go to three different grocery stores just to get everything that I needed. And then getting stuff for my son's birthday, I kind of ran out of time. So this is everything that you're going to need to make your very own yogurt at home. I typically make mine in a slow cooker, but you can make it in an Instapot as well. And I also use dry milk powder. You don't have to have this, but I feel like using the milk powder makes your yogurt a little bit thicker. The main ingredient that you're going to need is yogurt culture. So I use this one. My husband gets it from Amazon or you can actually just buy store-bought yogurt and then just use the yogurt from that as your culture and as your base. And then of course you're going to need milk. We like having whole milk yogurt. So we use that for our base. You can get 1% milk, 2% milk, whichever one that you are comfortable with. I did forget to mention that you do want to grab a couple of towels. I have two here and this is going to incubate your slow cooker. While I'm getting everything started, you want to go ahead and plug in your slow cooker and then you want to go ahead and put it on the warm set it and keep it covered while you're cooking up the milk. So next you want to go ahead and turn your burner on medium, grab your milk and then my slow cooker I want to say is like six quarts so it can't really fill this entire gallon of milk. So I pour about a good 90% of the milk into the container. Oh, come on. Let's see. All right, a little bit more. All right, that's about good. So I have that and you wanna take a quarter cup measuring container and get about a quarter cup of the dry milk powder and you pour that in there with the milk and you want to grab a whisk and stir and make sure the milk powder is dissolved in there with the milk and then when that's done you're going to go ahead and cover it and come maybe like every one to two minutes especially um, with it being on medium high, you can put it on low, but I like mine to cook just a little bit faster. So you want to check it frequently so that way you don't burn the milk. And you're going to be doing this until the milk reaches, I think, like 180 degrees. All right, and then while your milk is heating up, you want to go ahead and fill your sink with an ice bath or some cold water. All right, so my milk has definitely reached 180 degrees. All right, and then you wanna go ahead and submerge your pot into the water and you're gonna let that sit there until your milk reaches 115 degrees. So you'll be coming back and forth to your check on it. Okay, so my yogurt has reached 115 degrees. So that's when you unplug your slow cooker and then you basically pour all of the milk into the slow cooker and then you put your base in there. So I'm using the powdered culture if you're using a uh, yogurt culture that's store-bought, you want to go ahead and pour, I think, like a quarter cup of the yogurt into the slow cooker. So I'm going to go ahead and put these two in and then stir it together, cover it up, and then incubate it with the towel for about 12 hours.
consistency after it's been sitting in the slow cooker for 12 hours and then also in the fridge for another eight hours just to chill. As you can see, this is really thick and just about the same kind of consistency you would find when you would buy store-bought yogurt. I'm gonna go ahead and pair this with some dark chocolate and sea salt granola and have a nice snack. And that is a wrap for this video. We got a grocery haul in. I hope you guys found a few new items that you can buy if you haven't already tried them. Hope you enjoyed the yogurt making. For those of you that don't know how to make your own yogurt, now you do. Comment down below if you do end up trying this and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.